Hey y'all, it's Tyranny, and I am here today to show you how I personalize the Traveler tote bag from Marc Jacobs. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Cue the music. Yes, may I help you? Okay, it's a cute bag. I was getting a lot of compliments on it, but I just wanted to add just a little bit of razzle dazzle, a little bit of flair, a little bit more of my personality to it. And because of the retail price of $150, I didn't feel as if I was messing up or damaging a really uh, high quality designer bag. So I just said, you know what, let's just have some fun with this thing and make it uniquely tyranny. So that's what I did. So, y'all want to see it? Okay, I'm going to get it for y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Bam! Here she is after she has been jizzed and jazzed up. It, oh my gosh, like I loved her before, but I really love her now just with these personal touches. So, the first thing I did, actually, I ordered another webbing strap. So, this here is the Marc Jacobs logo webbing strap. It has gold uh, hardware and it's in the size thin and it retails for $75. Because I have the mini bag, I didn't want to get the regular size. So the thin straps are actually perfect for the mini size. If I think I had maybe a small or the regular, I would go up the size. These work fine here, and there are dozens of other straps on the Marc Jacobs website. You just go to straps, and I think there's maybe like 20 to 30 different straps that you can choose from that fit your personality or to your liking. I just opted for this one because, it, of course, it had the brand, and, you know, I'm a label whore sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> It had the branding on it. So I was like, okay, that's cute. And then once you put it on your shoulder, you can actually see, you know, the Marc Jacobs coming down. So I thought that was really cute. And then I just had this little poom poom just hanging around the house. I think this was on one of my uh, Louis Vuitton bags, but I think it just looks a little bit better on here because I'm adding a little bit more flair to it. So you can find these things anywhere. I think this came from Burlington, but they sell these at the beauty supply store, Walmart, Amazon. You can get these anywhere. Uh, probably from like five on up. Some of them are like real animal animal hair. This one is not. This is just a little cheap one. I think I got for like five dollars at Burlington Coat Factory. And then I added a little patch here. You can actually get these patches from the Marc Jacobs website. He has all of the alphabets, as well as a few other patches uh, specific to his branding, Marc Jacobs, as well as like New York. So there's like an apple, a hot dog, a daisy, all of that stuff. And those range from, I think, maybe $10 up to $15. And I will insert a clip of me uh, attaching this to the purse. I ordered two, but because of the size of this bag, I didn't feel like putting both of the initials on here was going to be cute. It was taking up a little too much space. So I just stuck this little T down here for tyranny. Okay, so I think that's just really cute. Adds a little bit of just, you know, extra mm to the bag. <laughs> and this is a peel, peel and stick. So you basically just decide where you want to put it. Peel it off the back and then stick it wherever you want to stick it on your bag. This actually retails for $10 on the Marc Jacobs website. So that's something cute if you want to add a little extra hmm, to your bag. <laughs> so, and then I just stuck some little pins that I had laying around the house. This one up here is 30,000 feet up. Uh, one of my friends has a music book and a podcast. And so um, shout out to him. Just stuck that on my purse. I think that's cute and it just matches what's going on. I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> and then, you know, there's a little pin down here uh, for my sorority, y'all see it's scary. And I think that's just cute to have on here. If you do have pins from when you went out of town or different conferences or things that you're into, if you're into comic books or, you know, anything like that, you can just add those little things on here and give it just a little bit of flair, make it uniquely yours. 
and it doesn't damage it. I've moved these over several times trying to figure out where I want to put them. And there will be like a small hole because it's canvas, you can just rub it and then you won't even see it anymore. So this is how my bag turns out once I just added a little bit of tyranny to it. And you know, some may say, oh, that's kind of childish. Why would you do a bag like that? But you know, I forget them people. <laughs> okay. Why you, well, you know, that's all I got, girl. I ain't got nothing else to say to y'all. Like, I still love this bag. This is my everyday bag. So when I'm going to appointments, doctor's office, grocery stores, I carry this bag like this all the time. Get dozens of compliments on it and we'll have it forever because it's very durable and sturdy. I'm not having any issues with length or anything like that. So if you guys still love this bag i highly recommend it and if you want to personalize it give it a little bit of flair girl it, you will love it even more all right <laughs> so i hope that you guys truly enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you in the next one bye